Hello there everybody welcome to our next Houdini tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the skin and the sweep node and we're going to build us kind of a coil to demonstrate how those work. So the first thing we want to do to get started start with a blank slate of course go up to create and under create we're going to see this little bitty button here called circle and what we're going to do is we're going to hold our control key on the keyboard and we're going to left click and when we do that you can say BAM Houdini throws us a circle right down in there and we have us a circle node. Now this right here isn't actually the circle itself. This is just the container that holds the circle. Think of this as a Tupperware container. Okay? And if you open the Tupperware container up by double clicking it, we there's our circle inside the container. Now this is our circle. We're at the geometry level. And the geometry is the actual circle. Okay? So if we go back up to where we was, to the container, we're at the scene level. So this is just a scene. You know, we can dive into this and add as many nodes, as many boxes, spheres, models that we want to to this. And then when we come back out to our scene level, all of it's inside one container. Okay, does that make any sense? So what we're going to do is we're going to work with this one little circle object here. And we're going to double click to go inside of the circle object container. Remember, as I said, this is just like a Tupperware container for our circle. We'll double click to open it and there's our real circle right there. Okay, so let's go up here to our a few of our little settings here and let's change some of them around. Let's make our orientation ZX and let's make our primitive type NURBS curve. Okay, now that we have our NURBS curve turned up there, our divisions become available. Let's take our slider and slide it all the way up to 50. Okay, now what we're doing now is we're just setting up to use the sweep and the skin tool, which is why we're here. Okay? So now you can see we have an arc type. And since we're going to make a coil spring, we need our arc to be open. So we'll say open arc. And as you can see, when we do that, our little circle in the middle there disappears. And then we're left with an open circle. Okay? So let's do uh, a couple more things. Let's change our arc angle from 360 here on the far right. To 3600 so we'll just add a zero and hit return okay now when we do that you'll notice now it looks like we have more than one circle that's because before it was set to 360 meaning the circle went around one time 360 degrees but now we have it set to 3600 which means this circle is going around several times that's why it looks like there's more than one there okay but how can we make a coil spring out of this well we need to add another node and that's a point node so let's go over here and let's right click on our little output tab and start typing point. And as you can see right there's our point node. Let's click our point node and we'll drop it into place. Okay. Now when we drop our point node, let's go ahead and visualize it. I click on our visualization tag. You'll see that we have this position parameter up here and they got TX, TY, and TZ, which all refer to its position. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the TY, okay, which is the straight up and down. We're going to change it from TY to capital PT. So we'll just take out the TY and put in PT. And also, we're going to want to divide this by 10 because if we leave it as it is, it's going to stretch it out way too far. So if I hit return, you can see that that stretched out our coil spring. But it's way, way too stretched out. So we're going to go in here and put PT divided by 10. Now if you look, that makes our coil spring way, way more manageable. And you can see the shape we're getting here, which is getting to be about right on, okay? But now we need to use the sweep command to sweep something along this curve so we can have a, our coil spring. So let's go ahead and control click another circle. Let's add another circle in there. And when we do that, you'll see that it added the circle right there at the very bottom of our coil. Okay? So let's come over here and look at our nodes. Let's deselect everything. Okay? I'm going to go to my model shelf because everything in the model shelf works with NURBS. Okay? And I'm going to use the sweep command. So I'm going to click on sweep. First, it's going to ask me for my cross section. Okay, and my cross section is the circle we just added. I'm going to hit enter. Now it's going to ask us for our backbones. 
and that's pretty self-explanatory. Of course, our backbone is the curve. Select that and hit return. Okay, now this is good. Now we got something going along going on here. Okay, so but those those circles are a little bit big. So thanks to Houdini's procedural nature, we can come back here and we can adjust the radius. And when we adjust our radius, I'm going to take it down to about 0.2. Now our circles are more manageable. Now all we have to do is skin between these circles that we've got laid down along our curve here. But in order, <coughs> excuse me, in order for our skin node to work, we have to work with NURBS. And as you can see, this, far, this circle here is a NURBS curve. But this circle isn't. So we need to change this from primitive to NURBS curve. Okay? Now we can select this sweep node. Okay. And what I'm going to do is we're going to use the, what did I say before? Skin. So let's go up and select skin. It's going to say select the V curves. And we don't have any V curves. Let's go ahead and hit return. And boom, there we go. As you can see, it looks like we've got a nice little coil spring, but it's a little deformed. If we template, let's see here. Our point node by hitting this little pink template <coughs> excuse me you can see that our geometry is not following our curve so in order to make it follow our curve we need to come up here and hit preserve shape and boom and there is how we use our sweep in combination with our skin with the nerves curve to create our spring so you can actually do whatever you want to do it's up to you and uh, I really hope you took something from this tutorial. If you have any questions, be feel free to PM me. Or if you want to get some great training in Houdini, check out CMI Visual Effects or Digital Tutors. They both have some great training. It's, I learned a lot from them. Uh, in fact, I learned this from, from Digital Tutors. And um, I hope you guys have learned something from me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.